<laughs> Hello there. <laughs> so um, I, I'm one of many organizers behind an event called TEDx Terry Talks. So here's our sign, TEDx Terry Talks. And just to clarify right off the bat, this is not an event uh, where you have to have your first name being Terry to actually give the talk. Uh, my name's not Terry, my name's Dave. We're not going to host a TEDx Miguel Talks next year or a TEDx Kelly with an I Talks in future years. Now, the reason why it's actually called Terry Talks is that it's part of a bigger academic project from uh, the university that I'm from, which is the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. And this is the Terry Project. Now, Terry is actually affectionate for the word Terra, and meaning the planet Earth. And what this is essentially is a project that encapsulates and crowdsources activities related to global issues, interdisciplinary connections, and also uh, undergraduate student activism. And TEDx, Terry Talks, is sort of our full-on student conference. That's, that's the piece of our Terry project. Now, the reason why we did this is that uh, after being in, involved in this project for a few years, uh, I'm, I'm really amazed at what these undergrads are doing. I mean, it's freaking awesome, to put it lightly. I mean, these, these, these students are 17, 18, 19, 20. They're starting nonprofits. They're creating innovations. And you know, as someone like myself, who at last count just graduated from grade 35 or something like that, I mean, it's really awe-inspiring to see these students uh, actually do these things. So why not a conference where they get a chance to exhibit, right? Now, of course, this introduces uh, an interesting nuance, and that is we are hosting a high-profile speaker event whereby most, if not all, of the speakers have not had the opportunity to give a high-stakes talk in front of hundreds of people. Uh, we uh, have about 300 in attendance with camera crews pointing at them. So it's sort of an interesting consideration. And of course, the one thing that comes to mind is will the students deliver, right? And uh, what I'm happy to say is that, you know, with prompting for us, uh, from us because we have a pretty tight application process from application to the actual event is actually a 25 day time span whereby two weeks of that is sort of a rehearsal commitment so that we get the students to practice their talks so that they're ready to be on stage and I'm pleased to announce that basically students do deliver our conference uh, you know we had laughter we had smiles we had misty eyes uh, we had woohooing we had free food always good at student conferences uh, we had wish granting. Our, our conference actually grants wish, uh, wishes as well. Uh, we had a, uh, an orchestra of Chewbacca sounds. Yeah, you heard me right. An orchestra of Chewbacca sounds. And basically we had seven undergrads, one graduate student, one alumni kicking ass. Okay? So if there is a take home point to what I'd like to say is that uh, if you are giving a conference where you actually having speakers that don't do this sort of thing, like actually get in front of a large crowd, uh, not to worry. I mean, they will deliver under this, this particular rubric. I invite you to check out our talks online. Thank you. <laughs>